What's up guys, Jeff Tavalier, AthleanX.com. Today I'm gonna to show you video proof of how conditioning could be killing your gains. You see, if you're looking to build strength, preceding your strength work, or even including conditioning work with your strength work is going to kill your gains, and I can prove that to you. So what you see here is a clip of me doing a standard strength exercise for our back. It's a classic pull-up. And as I'm doing my pull-ups here, I'm trying like hell to make sure I'm doing these right all the way down, full extension, come up, chin over the bar, and what I'm doing is I'm keeping my steady cadence until failure. And I rep out, and I rep out, and I rep out here, and ultimately, I'm going to get to 23 repetitions here before reaching failure. Now keep in mind, in order to ensure that I'm getting a clean result here and different than what we're going to show you next, I did this on a separate day than what I'm going to show you next. I did this yesterday. Now, when I finally reach failure here, I come down, I call it a day, I leave. The next day, I come back here, and now in, before getting up on that bar, I simply precede this with a single conditioning exercise here. And we're going to keep it simple. We're just doing cone hops, and there's 40 to be exact. Now, the simple act of doing a conditioning exercise before my strength exercise will have serious uh, impact on my ability to do the strength exercise. Because what's happening here is, as I'm working my legs and doing my explosive and aerobic endurance right here, I'm still using the blood flow to my legs to try to fuel, not well, because it's an anaerobic exercise, but to try to fuel my activity. Because remember, blood is being directed to these muscles to try to help us to deliver oxygen to the working muscles, but at the same time to help remove some of that meta uh, metabolites and the byproducts of muscle contraction away from the muscles to allow me to keep working. So that's all well and good. And when I complete my 40 reps, now I try to get back up on the bar. And guess what's happening here? I don't feel so fresh anymore. I don't feel as good as I did yesterday. And I didn't do a single thing to involve, involve my back in that jumping exercise. It should be as fresh as, as it could be, but it's not. Because when I get up on that bar and I try to contract and use my lats to do every pull up now, it's not so easy. My lats are now asking for the same flow of blood that's being directed to my legs to try to help it now through the exercise. And it's not happening, guys. You only have a limited ability for your body to deliver and serve all of its masters. And here, it's becoming a lot more challenging. So what ultimately happens is, what I was able to go to failure on 23 reps for, I literally only get 16 reps out here. Now, why is that? Again, it's for the reasons I just told you, but more importantly, what that means to you is that when you're going to prioritize strength in your training, you don't want to be combining conditioning exercises with it. And a lot of other modalities of training make this very popular and it's not a good way to go. At the very least, if you're going to do that and you want to see gains in strength, then you want to keep your conditioning work to the end of the workout after you've already trained for that purpose. But more importantly, you'd want to separate it on different days. But here's the big argument. We don't just train for strength here. What we do is we try to train you to become more athletic. And when you're athletic, I'm sorry to say, but you don't get the option to do everything you want to do in a fully fresh state. Mixing fatigue and a muscle under fatigue and then asking it to, to perform work and do something for you is much more realistic and much more productive for most of us who are trying to make gains in the gym but also have them become functional and purposeful when we step outside of the gym. And that is why I like to con uh, combine these two elements in different types of training. Again, if we're going for hypertrophy here, we can still accomplish that. We can accomplish that because we can still create overload. Just because I fail in just 16 reps up here doesn't mean that I wasn't working my ass off to do all 16 reps. That is an overload. As a matter of fact, it's a different stimulus than a fresh overload created by not doing anything before the exercise. So don't think that the conditioning is always going to be a bad thing to perform with your exercises. I certainly don't think that's gonna make you lose muscle. In the end of the, uh, at the end of the day, Having all the elements covered in a complete training program is ultimately going to be what I feel is the most important aspect for you to make sure you're covering in your training. In the meantime, if you're looking for a program that does this and it incorporates all the things that I think are important elements to complete the picture, to make you an overall athlete. If you want to look like an athlete, you got to train like one, head to athletex.com and get our Athletex training program. In the meantime, Give this one a try, guys. Feel it for yourselves. I'm sure you've already have in certain capacities. Doing something fresh is a lot different than doing it under stress. But if, if you're trying to train for strength, then I would avoid this on, training, on strength training days and get it onto its own separate day. All right, guys, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up. Let me know what else you want me to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. All right, see you soon.